Guys, they said Olori Kalabash battled with the old virgin priestess that KBC employed to replace her. You know that from what we are hearing allegedly, they said KBC have decided that uh, he no longer needs uh, Ashley's uh, services in terms of uh, this uh, spiritual thing, all this sacrificial thing and everything that they are doing. Because the last time they said the gods rejected her sacrifices because of her evil plans against Queen Naomi. And there is no how they will keep such a person uh, if this information is true. There is no how they will keep someone whose sacrifices uh, was rejected by the same gods that she is to enter uh, uh, as in the same gods that she is to speak to, you know, on behalf of the people, you know. So that is why they say KBSC went and employed an old virgin. They say the woman is around 65, 70 years of age and she is still a virgin. She has been in the business of this priestess for a very long time. And the information have you that she is highly recommended, that she has not soiled her arms. She's not the type that uh, collects money to do anyhow, you know. In as much as they said, uh, a lot of them, a lot of these safer priests and the priestess them have been spoiled or corrupted. They said this one is still okay from the people who recommended her. So that was why the Seka BSC went and they employed her to come and take over from Olori Kalabash. And when Olori Kalabash hears about it, she was very, very angry. As in, she couldn't bear it such that they said she have to fly from UK down to Nigeria to come and take serious action because she knows very well that KBSC means business and if she did not do anything uh, KBSC would just shift her aside and uh, continue the work with this same person and you know that the reason it looks as if uh, Ashley is important in that palace is because of this Kalabash Karen and uh, the sacrificial thing that she used to do and the other day, they said she is the only priestess that have ever gone to go to a secret forest to go and uh, do some sacrifices and all of that. So she is good in what she's doing, just that she have added it with greed and hatred for Queen Naomi. And right now, it is spoiling things for her. Because I believe that if she is doing it with pure heart, without having any bad intention towards anyone, uh, she will go far. But with the look of things, her jealousy and hatred for Queen Naomi is limiting her in this job. Okay, so that is why they said, when KBSC employed this person, and they told the person that uh, uh, Olori Kalabash will teach her the necessary things and everything, that uh, she will be handing over to her some of the important items and the uh, stuff and all of that they said the lady came and uh, she she was prepared this is something that she have done for years she is older than ashley she have she know better than ashley in the system so when ashley hears about it they say she came back to nigeria and went and locked the shrine and sees and sees some of these uh, things that the woman will be needing for the job and when KBSC and the elders confronted her about it, she said there is no how KBSC would do such a thing to her. That KB, she knew that KBSC now hates her like never before, but not to the point of taking away her duty from her. And KBSC told her before the elders that they need to replace her. reason is because she cannot be doing the calabashing and also be the king's wife, that at some point uh, she will be lacking behind in some and again, coupled with the fact that she's not here in Nigeria, there are some times that they will need her services and she will be busy with her business or her work there. For that reason, they need someone to be here. Even if uh, she will still be working, at, the, at least the person will be working with her. You know? And because she knows that her heart is not pure, she knows that there, she has some cockroaches in her cupboard. They said the other day that uh, Olori Toothpaste saw her doing some incantation and it's not a good one and that day they say all of the two face broke her pot and uh, 
uh, bees and bad things we are coming away coming out from the port she knows that her her mind is not pure that is why she doesn't work she doesn't want to work with someone who will expose her and that is how they said uh, she told KBC that uh, if KBC need to replace someone and the person will have to work with her re replace her with someone and the person will have to work with her that she should be the one to bring the person and not the other way around. And that is how they say she called on one younger girl. They said the lady was very young. And Kabesi told her that the lady they need, anybody that will do the work, is going to be a virgin. And she claimed that the lady, the small girl that she brought, is a virgin. And uh, at some point, they were saying no to her own request. But uh, because they want peace, they said, okay, they are going to test the girl's virginity and see if she's still a virgin and all of that but we all know that she wants to employ someone who will be answerable to her rather than kbc because she knows what she's doing she wants someone that if, if they want to do anything in favor of Naomi, she will tell the lady what to do so that it will not be in favor of Naomi and all of that so but it's unfortunate that they said when they want to test the virginity of the girl she brought she refused. She said that it is not uh, it is not going to happen. And the old virgin was worried and angry. Uh, and she wanted to leave. She said that she doesn't operate with some people who doesn't have respect for old age and all of that. They said they started begging her to stay back. And at some point, she find out that Ashley is working against the kingdom. Yes, Ashley is working against KBC and uh, the rest of them. She have to stand in for them. And that was when they said she told Ashley that she better behave or else she would show her what old age can do, you know. At that point, it becomes a battle between the priestess. So as they want to ch check the virginity of the younger girl, she said no. It becomes a battle. They said the two of them started challenging themselves with their staff. It was a tough, <laughs> it was a tough scene. And the second BS and the elders, we are just there watching. When the woman was able to suppress her, as they say, she fell on the floor. They dragged the lady and asked the lady to cross, the younger lady that she brought, to cross the line to determine if she's a virgin or not. They said the lady started confessing. Her. They told her that confession cannot solve anything, just cross the line. And when they push her to cross the line, they find out that she is not a virgin, as Olori Kalabash have claimed. And that is how they said the lady started confessing that uh, she's not even doing this so that uh, she just wants to teach her how to do it. And by so doing, she will be doing it according to uh, what she wants and not what the kingdom wants. My people wonder shall never end. That is how Kabiesu said he, uh, he was disappointed in Oluri Kalabash and uh, insisted that the old lady should take over from her. But the problem here is that she will be the one to show the old lady around and the things to know and what things not to do. I know the lady have not been working with them. The problem here now is, is she going to do it or not? That's the problem. Anyway, guys, I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? Share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye. I love you guys.